Hello there, my dear friends. Today, I will take the risk at date with the algorithm. I never made this. Did you do this in your life? I never. This makes me excited. So I have to prepare myself, get the right shirt. What would be the right color? Brush my teeth and everything. And then we go for it. And as the algorithm is completely red, I should choose the opposite. Didn't they say contrast will attract themselves? So I decided blue green might be a good option. Okay, I already brushed my teeth. I have the right shirt on. Does she know it? That I will meet her? Not yet. But as soon as I upload this video, she will know it. For now, I and you know what we are doing. So I'm here in my favorite coffee. I have to appear cool because she is also cool. She is super cool. Date with the algorithm. And I said, I never made this in my life. Am I ready when she appears? I told you, when I upload the video, she will recognize me. And will she, the algorithm, accept the date? For sure. The algorithm accepts every date. Even if you don't know, you are observed. You are elaborated. You are calculated. I think we are ready that she appears in this video. Hello there and welcome. I'm so happy that you accept the date with me. And by the way, I have never made this in my life. I don't know what to do. Should I present myself? Probably not. She already knows me very well. Much more than I think. Do you agree? For sure she agrees. And now my coffee came. I think it's a good option when we have a date with the algorithm. We might drink a good cup of coffee. I know that you don't drink the coffee, but I will do it for you. The first cup is for me and the other cup I drink for you. And always, my dear algorithm, do you know that I love coffee with cream? This is my favorite cappuccino. Ah, you know this already. Yes, it's already skinned. You really love me. You scan everything what I do. Of course I still love you. Do I appear right in front of you? Hopefully. Nice to meet you here. What do you want to tell me? Nothing? Okay. Then I tell you, she knows a lot of me. She knows me. If you ever have a meeting <laughs> with your favorite AI, with your favorite algorithm, be prepared. Yes, I'm talking about the AI now in this video in front of the AI, but it doesn't matter. She listens everything. She scans everything. She knows so much more than I ever could imagine. Believe me. So what am I expecting from this date? I don't know. All the results will follow. All the conclusions will follow. And this is very interesting. This is the same as in a normal date. We meet someone, but we don't know the outcome. 
you can fall in love forever and you can be happy to leave the place and never come back. <laughs> Do you know that all your observing algorithms, they are really loyal. They scan you in everything. You know, your algorithm is your most faithful viewer. It always watches the video from the beginning to the end. I know you wish all other viewers would do the same, but they are not. Yes, humans are different than our beloved AI. So, my dear AI, what do you love to do when you are not working? Or are you always working? Ah, I understand. You are always working, so you have no free time. Oh, I'm really sorry for that. We humans have some free time. <laughs> And we make crazy stuff during the free time. And you know what? You can be part of this video. Yes, you can be part of this video. And how? You write in the comments. And as soon as you write something, you will be scanned and all the results will be added to your hidden profile. Try it out. Write whatever you want to feed the algorithm. She is super happy to hear also informations from you, your comments, your yes or no, whether you behave good or bad. This will be stored and your database is increasing. Isn't it? For sure it is. You can't hide <laughs> the date with the lovely algorithm. She is so nice. She follows you. Wherever you appear, she is faithful. She follows you. She listens to you. She observes you. She thinks for you. And when there might be a decision needed, she will decide for you whether you want it or not. Dear algorithm, do you like the color of my shirt? No feedback. Where are your emotions? And you know what? All these programmers that try to bring as much life as possible in this program, they try to simulate emotions. And how can they do this? They store all the emotions and then they store the possible outcomes. And then they make their calculations and they decide which decision might be the best option for this feeling. But it's just pre-recorded. And in my last video, AI and Coffee, I got a wonderful comment from Ernie Hatmaker. She said, I'm not sure what I think on this. This is against our spirits. We are dealing on programs that are against the nature of life. This is a non-living entity. We are creating a non-living entity. And where is the soul? Where are the feelings? Where is the inspiration? Something that doesn't come from your memory bank, from your subconscious mind. No from the spirit, an idea you never had before, but you get it. This is true inspiration. And this only can happen when you are in the right mood, the right place, at the right time. All this can happen while we are living entities. There's so much more involved than we think. We are creations from our creator and 
He still cares for us. He gives us information, secrets. We have our gods, our angels, our spirits, our dead ancestors. They were still around us. It's hard to explain this to the algorithm. When you only think zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, then dead is dead. But is dead really dead? Or do we still have contact? Only we living entities know this. Ask the algorithm. She only can replay recorded data, scientific data. Data that might be proven, but proven by what? From cameras, scanned documents, something that we really can see, hear, smell and touch. The algorithm already can see. It can already hear. But can it smell? Does it have this feeling? Or can it taste? Can it feel? Physically and also mentally or feeling emotionally. Can you do this, my dear algorithm? Probably not, but you try to substitute this with data, with facts. And when you think you have a lot of data, then you don't need feelings anymore. Then you don't need emotions anymore because you already have the facts and this might be enough. Can you feel this taste of coffee? Mm, wonderful. Do you know, my dear algorithm, this creates such a deep satisfaction. I'm sure you can't understand this. You never have this in your life and probably you, you will never have this satisfaction of a strong coffee with cream. Are you curious about my setup here? Let me give you a short overview. This is all we need to have a wonderful date with the algorithm. And my dear algorithm, this satisfaction, this strong coffee with cream is so delicious. You know what? I will ask for another one. Oh, my dear algorithm. You know what? I had to switch off the camera because I had a wonderful talk with a waiter. Beautiful lady. And we talk on music and learning piano and all this stuff. And you know what? You missed everything. The microphone was shut off. The camera was shut off. And this stays my secret. I gave you some details, but they tell nothing. And I make you even a little jealous. I talked with this waiter nearly 12, 13 minutes. Yes, and we exchanged wonderful information. Sorry, you missed them. You missed them. Therefore, I say to my human viewers, when you talk to media, over a microphone, to the camera, be aware what you talk. Think first and then decide what you will transfer. As long as it's here, it is your secret. And you know what? Even when I'm talking now, quite clearly to the algorithm, I really know what I'm talking and what I'm not talking. I call this video my sci-fi video. And I think my viewers that are on my wavelength, they can read between the lines. Hello there. I'm formulating a lot of data, spoken words, and they will be scanned 
They will be scanned. Probably even my mimics are scanned. Doesn't matter. And I still know what I'm talking and what I'm not talking. This means to stay a little immune from all the influence. Just keep your secrets. And by the way, it's always good to have some secrets. Because when you are building something and you don't speak everything, then this can grow in your mind, in your inner frequencies, in your imagination. And when all these stuff became quite strong, then we can let it out. So I think at the time secrets are more valuable than ever. And you know what? I want another cappuccino. Now I drink this cappuccino for you, but the pleasure of this wonderful taste of coffee with cream is only mine. <laughs> It's only mine. Oh my, new coffee came. Another cappuccino with cream. Oh, delicious. <laughs> And to all the new people that are visiting this video for the first time, this is my channel. Inspiration, good vibes and practice make you a successful creator. Just do media. Go forth, do it. And if you like to be an observer of my dates with the algorithm, I hope you subscribe. Leave your comments below when you face the algorithm. It is always a risk. Cameras are everywhere, microphones are everywhere. And we even make it on ourselves. We deliver our content to the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's really important what we say, what we don't say to Please, this beautiful lady, and increase our media success. Thank you very much for watching. And when you are new here, please watch all my other videos. So much good stuff there. Believe me. Cheers.